It is so fun to watch the level of excitement when people first start to work with a Rhapsody coach. Mm. Uh, whether it's a leader, business owner, they've come out of a place of oftentimes uh, despair, uncertainty, and they suddenly feel like they've got uh, the starting of a plan. Yeah. And they come into that meeting excited, enthusiastic, ready to go. Uh, and sometimes that lasts for a few months, sometimes that changes. Uh, what do you say to clients uh, to prepare them for the process of change that they're going to have with a, a coach? It's a great question because very often people say, oh, I know, I'll get a coach and then life will do this. Yeah. And it'll all be better. It's not that simple. It's not that simple. The, the coaching experience, uh, it's up and down. Mm -hmm. And, and the, the reason is you start to challenge things about yourself what you've built, how you operate in ways you've never looked at it before. You become more honest about what's happening. You have to have harder conversations. You're using new tools. It is a demanding exercise. It requires a lot. Yeah. And so for, uh, for many clients, you know, they will experience this up and down exercise of, I'm all excited one day, look at the change. I got clarity, we can do anything. Yeah. And the next day, something started to go sideways and they're struggling with it because it's a new set of behaviors or new tools and it's more difficult and it can become frustrating. And so, you know, you start to, to have this, this up and down experience. There's, um, when we think about the actual coaching excitement index, which we've created, it looks at, you know, the level of excitement along one axis and then looking over time. Mm -hmm. And we see it go up and down and up and down. And, but the behavior changes a little bit over time. This is really important for a few reasons. One is, it's important to identify upfront what you're going to do when you feel like you're at the lowest. Because those are the moments of truth and the moments of choice. Right. It's in those moments when things are so difficult that some leaders will stick with it and others will eject. Mm. And I'll tell you, their trajectories afterwards are very, very different. When we make that choice in the moment of truth saying, this is really difficult, that choice to reset, regroup, reconnect, recover, uh, whatever we need to do in that moment. And it's worth taking a little time up front to say, what am I going to do? What exactly am I going to do? What's my commitment now to myself in that moment? To say, what am I gonna do when I hit that moment? Um, it sets the new normal. And it empowers the leader. And what happens is those swings over time of up and down, I'm excited, oh my God, I'm excited, oh my God, start to level out more and it takes the drama out of the business. Because here's the thing, if the coaching excitement index was just a new roller coaster, right. most leaders are already on a roller coaster, right? You don't need to swap one for another. We want off of the old one and onto the new one where there's so much more control, choice, opportunity, clarity, and a chance to truly grow as a leader. Yeah, and the beauty of it is, we call it the coach's excitement index, but it's true in any area of a leader's life. Uh, as they learn the lessons within the coaching environment, they can apply those to just about anything that they experience in life to be able to manage that excitement level.